Hi everyone, let's talk about the hockey stick identity in combinatorics. We start with Pascal's triangle like this, and we start with the rightmost entry of one of the rows of Pascal's triangle. So we have the second row here if we start with row 0. And then what we do is that we go to the left and down by certain increments. So by, by one increment here. So we have 3, we have 6, we have 10. At some point we stop. And what we do is that we add up the entries. So we get 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 is equal to 20. And if you look at the, the Pascal's triangle, the 20 appears right to the bottom right of the 10. And as a result, we get a shape like this that appears to be a hockey stick. And that's where the hockey stick identity comes from. If we do some experimentation, we find that the prediction, the correct prediction should be that the sum of elements of the form I choose K for I equals to K all the way through to N is equal to the orange term, which is N choose 1, N plus 1 choose K, choose K plus 1. So N plus 1 choose K plus 1. And this is for n greater than or equal to k and k greater than or equal to 0. Both n and k are fixed integers. Now we can prove this by induction pretty easily. We just use Pascal's identity or recursion. But I want to show you a more insightful proof. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to do a committee building proof. The right side is pretty clear. What we do is choose k plus 1 people out of n plus 1 people. The left side is a bit more complicated. What we're going to be doing is pretending like the people have distinct heights and order the people from shortest to tallest. Now, this you might be wondering how this is related to math and what people have to do with anything. You can just imagine that the n plus 1 elements are just mathematical objects elements and that this ordering here from shortest to tallest we're just assigning them numbers from 1 through n plus 1. So we're, we're just, we're assigning indices to them, we're ordering them as a tuple. So now what we do is casework. Casework on the tallest person chosen. Now this tallest person let's say it's uh, the person i plus 1 for some index i. We'll put, we'll put bounds in the index in just a moment. Then what happens is that you have to choose k more people out of the shorter i people. Because if the tallest person is the one at index i plus 1, then there are i other people who are shorter than that person out of whom we can choose these k people. So that gives us a sum of the form i choose k. But the question is what are the bounds on i? So first of all, if i plus 1 is the tallest person, then i plus 1 cannot exceed n plus 1 because n plus 1 is the highest index. And secondly, if we're going to be choosing k more people, then i has to be greater than or equal to k, which means i plus 1 is greater than or equal to k plus 1. And that means the bounds on the index i are k, lower bound k, and upper bound n. And everything, else, everything in between works, as you, can, as you can figure out. 
So i equals to k and goes all the way through to n. And this sum is equal to n plus 1, choose k plus 1. And that is the identity that we wanted to prove, the hockey stick identity. I just want to leave you with a reverse identity because remember Pascal's identity is symmetric left to right so what happens on the left also happens on the right so if we were to pick for example uh, these elements instead so this element this element this element and this element we would still get this element in the end. So there's a there's a reflection we can do across the center of Pascal's triangle and let me write down that identity for you as well. So what that tells us is that we're working with the sum of i equals to 0 through n of k plus i choose i. You, you can verify that this is indeed the sum of those orange circles from earlier and that equals to if we um, change the indices well we'll change the indices in just a second but first let's use symmetry so by symmetry we get i equals to 0 through n k plus, one, k plus i choose k so notice that we had an i here and now we have a k over here and this is now we're going to change up the indices so we're going to go from i equals to k through to k plus n and we have i choose n now and this by the ordinary hockey stick identity is equal to is equal to k plus n plus 1 choose k plus 1 and that is equal to by symmetry again k plus n plus 1 choose n so this is our reverse identity we have this on the left and we have this on the right equivalently we can use this as well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time